Hey guys, welcome back. It's Neon. I'm here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello! Oh my god, it actually happened. It actually happened. They're they're bringing out Mattel. Is bringing out She-Ra and the Princesses of Power dolls. Right, with brushable hair. Do you think that's a coincidence? I don't think it's a coincidence. Not at all. Not at all. That's not a coincidence. Not. They picked the two most brushable characters to bring out. They I know! They could have picked Catra. They could have picked... Catra have been very brushable, too, though. She wasn't very brushable. She has sort of like a big leg. I don't know. They picked two of the most brushable characters to bring out, but the thing that's really interesting beyond the brushable hair is that they look like dolls. They look like they females. They look like dolls. Look, girls. Look, They're very look, girly. They have, they have lipstick. They have lipstick. I thought lipstick was a bad thing. I thought lipstick, you know, you know, was bad, but she's got lipstick and she looks like a woman. I don't know how her chest is because they put the arm right no, in front of her no, boobs, No, they the have way. a picture of her. I saw another picture of her, and it looked like she actually had the faintest hint of bosom. And, 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 no, her She's boots, the boots still suck. But she looks like, you, you know, her skirt looks more like a dress. Yeah. Oh, they, hell yeah. They, I will buy these, Mattel. Mattel, I will buy these. They, it's almost like they took, they took Noelle Stevenson's designs and. And made it look like a girl? Girlied them up. So girls would actually buy but look these. Look how Shadow Weaver looks amazing. Look at Shadow. Yeah, Shadow Weaver does look. I do like good. Shadow Weaver's design on this, and I like her. The doll of her is beautiful. You know what, Mattel? Yes, I will buy these, Mattel. I don't like your. I don't like the new show. I'm sorry. I, I don't like the new show. But I will buy these dolls because they are brushable hair, and they look like girls. Look at the cape. The cape is made out of. It looks like the same kind of material that the classic yeah. era. The glitter. Yeah. They took. They took the designs and they basically like fused them with the classic characters. Yeah. To, to make these dolls. So for a minute, dolls. Um, dolls. I just want to make sure I give credit to Oscar here for showing this to me and sending it to me. Thank you, Oscar. I appreciate that. I actually want these. I mean, they're brushable hair. Mattel, I will buy these toys with brushable hair. I still don't like your, the new show. I don't like it. I'm sorry. But the dolls are cool. These dolls look like women. I will buy these. And while I have your attention, Mattel, where are the large, uh, the big, the big size dolls, the, the large Barbie 12 inch, whatever size dolls? I'm still waiting for those. Uh, I will buy those as well. Hey, here's my idea, Mattel. Why don't you send this to me and I'll review it for you. But you yeah. probably won't, but, you know, I'm open. <laughs> I'm open, just so you know. Well, I checked I checked Mattel's Twitter to see if they had tweeted about it yet, and they haven't so far. Uh, so far, they're talking about... Now, they are bringing... But it is Mattel. We look. It is Mattel. Um, but it's interesting to see that they are promoting uh, classic He-Man She-Ra kind of themselves. Um, they're bringing He-Man and the comic book version of Adam. Yeah, Neon, Neon wants that. Yeah, I do want these. Neon actually. wants that, and I want the I want the She-Ra. Yeah. Um, but they're this both is, two packs. Yeah, they are. They're the two packs. But it, it is really interesting. Like I said, this is more of like a fusion of the classic She-Ra with Noelle Stevenson's you know, I gotta design. tell you, if she looked like that, I don't think I'd mind her as much because she looks like a girl there. Yeah, they gave her girl legs. They, they gave, gave her... they, even the dress is better. She's those bike shorts, but it looks it looks it looks more like a dress, and it looks more like a skirt. I, I I don't mind that version so much. The doll version, I don't mind so much. I really don't. It should look like except the boots. The boots suck. Sorry, the moon boots. No, um, but everything else. I mean, she doesn't look too terrible there. And if she looked like that in the show, yeah, it kind of looks like the um, she kind of looks like the DC superheroes dolls. Yeah, give her a little more boobs. But other than that, you know. She looks. She looks like a girl. She's got the hourglass figure. Yeah, I mean, they they basically they girlied her up. Uh, I think. And to, Shadow Weaver just looks amazing. Yeah, Shadow Weaver actually does. I look do great. like the Shadow Weaver design from the new show, but she looks. Look at that hair. Look at the hair. Yes. Sorry, I'm excited. Uh, I hate the new show, but the dolls. The yes! dolls actually do look pretty good. The I'm dolls not, are I can't a win. nitpick. I can't nitpick. We're doing a story on this for sure. I nope. can't nitpick this. Yeah. So they're both. You get both for forty. The same as the He-Man. Now, do they have a size on these in the article? Did you see anything about um, how big they are? I don't know. I'm guessing if they're like the He-Man, they're probably like five. Okay. Or six so inch. it says a triumphant return. My foot. Um. Do they have an idea? You can pre-order them starting today. Uh. I, I'm not gonna be able to go to to uh, uh San Diego. If anybody's going to San Diego and you're able to get the She-Ra or the He-Man, please let us know because we need we we would like these. Um. They don't say how big they are, though. Yeah, holographic skirt, long red. Holographic skirt. That these are all like the originals. Yeah, shimmery accents. Uh, the weave through her blonde, long blonde hair. hair. Uh, yeah, so they're trying to say make yourself like a girl. Holographic shimmery accents. Those are not words I would use to describe on the show, but they're using it to describe the doll. 
like I said, the cape material looks like the same kind of stuff. It was a little they... more orangey in the original toy. Yeah. A gold, more golden. But it, I mean, it does, even the boots don't look that terrible in this version. They made her look, and the sword looks kind of cool too. I mean, it's not the original sword, but it's not, it's not bad. I'm like, I would buy these. I, I actually want to buy these. I will buy these and brush their damn hair. I still don't like the show, but the dolls aren't bad. Yeah, they're not bad. I'm guessing if they're the same price, they're not going to be big. I'm guessing they're I'm probably thinking about the same size. Probably like five or six inch uh, figures. Yeah, I'm yeah. thinking they're small. I mean, for forty bucks for two, they're, they've got to be small. We don't know yet. We'll find out. But I'm like Mattel. Yes, thank you. But I do find it coincidental. They release these toys and they have brushable hair. I mean, I'm not trying to toot my own horn and act arrogant here. I'm really not. But isn't it a little odd? Just like in the show, they had the girl they call Sparkles brushing someone's hair for literally <laughs> no reason. I mean, I'm not trying to say that it's me, but it's a little weird. It's a little weird. It's a little weird. Um, so there you go. We, we will we will secure these uh, She-Ra figures and we will do a video of you brushing them. Yes. And if you want to review Mattel, send them my way. I, I'm sorry. I do not like the show. It's not that's, unless, you know, it completely changes direction. I'm not going to like the show. However, I will be fair about it. However, these dolls, I would, I like these. These are cool. I actually like these. If this had been the first look at the new She-Ra, if they had been like, here's the toy line, I don't think there would have been as many complaints. Well, no, you know, but to be fair, uh, though, be most people are upset not about, aren't so much as upset about the show as much as they're upset about the way they were treated. The drama For not liking it. the show. Yeah, and that does, I mean, look, that does taint the whole thing because, you know, you see how... Uh, shitty the PR people treated the filmation crew yeah. and how much disdain they had for the filmation show. Yeah, it does sour your opinion on the show. Yeah. You can't, you know, because, I mean, I'll even say the show is not completely terrible. There are some good bits to it. Um, it, it isn't She-Ra. It's not classic Second She-Ra. season is actually better than the first. I mean, it doesn't mean I still like it. It could be like, well, you like it. No, that's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying it was the second season was better than the first season. That's true. I, it still wasn't great, but that's true. But I, I, I think most people, I don't like the new Shira. I'm sorry. I, I just, I, I, I'm going to be fair about it and I'll be fair. But I don't personally like the new show. I really don't. However, I like these dolls. Yeah. I do like the dolls. And I think a lot of people are turned off to the show because of the way they're treated. And because people are just have their back up about it all being about Noelle Stevenson at all times, which is really strange. Yeah, it's just there were a lot of PR mistakes made with this show. They should have just put the show out there, uh, not not slam the original cast and crew for sure. That that never should have happened, and just put the show out there and let it you know succeed or fail on its own merits. But became this like cause. It was like yes, it became it, this. That's like, what I would say. It is. It's a cause. It became a cause. Like you have to like the show because of what the show represents, not because the show's good on its but own, what's but funny, because. What's funny to me is this cause is a non-issue because it represented these things before the cause. Like right. a lot of people who who were LGBTQ loved the show. A lot of people who were LGBTQ worked on the show. On the show. Right. There was you know, it wasn't a cause I mean, in original. quotes to begin with. Yeah. There wasn't need for it. But these dolls, um, I actually like, and I'm gonna give them the. I mean, I have to see them in person. But as I'm seeing them so far, I'll give them. A, I'll give them a pass. I mean, it still looks like the show a bit. I mean, the doll still looks a little masculine, a little bit, but definitely a girl doll now, as opposed to the show. I, like I said, they kind of remind me of the the DC superheroes, the original line of DC superhero dolls. I have to wonder how. We have those. My daughter has a lot of. Yeah, them. Yeah, she does. She loves them. Uh, I have to wonder how long though until the media comes out and goes like. Oh my God! They made Shira look like Barbie. This is so problematic. Probably, you know it's what? So problematic. They gave her lipstick. Sit and spin. But you know what, Mattel? You and me, we're on the same wavelength here. You know what? You, I will back you. You, you, you know, keep it up. Brushable hair, big dolls. Get the big dolls you you teased out. You need to bring the those dolls ones, out. Yeah. The classic ones. You need to bring the big, the big 12-inch San Diego size dolls out. Bring those out. You have my backing on that. The cat agrees with me. Because if you heard the cat meow, she she agrees with me. Um, these are awesome. I, I really love Shadow Weaver. I just I just love her. I mean, this is beautiful. I want to brush that so bad. Like, yo, guys, I want to hit that. I want to brush it. <laughs> um, that's my version. I want to brush this. Um, I mean, look at this. so awesome. And she's going, oh, I just love it so much. I want to hug it. So is there is there actually going to be a full-blown toy line, or are these just going to be, like, for collectors? That's what I'm wondering. I don't know. I'm opening it and brushing the damn hair. Okay, well, that's fine. I'm just saying, I'm wondering, are they going to do like a mass retail toy line or are they just going to do... I don't know. I'm hoping. I mean, they went to all the trouble to make the molds. Yeah. But I, I don't know. And I mean, brushable hair dolls. I am... Okay, you got me. You have me with brushable. I don't like your show. Sorry. Show sucks. Dolls are awesome. 
Yeah, they do. They are definitely an upgrade from the design of the show. I do find it so damn coincidental, though. I do find it a huge coincidence. <laughs> I mean, I could be wrong, and I'm not usually one to, to be that way. I'm usually like com completely opposite. I was like, oh, I have that. That has nothing to do with me. No, no. This one, I think. What do you think? Yeah, I, I'm sure we're being watched. Oh, uh, I know we are. People told us, but yeah. So I, I think though this this is probably Mattel being like, we have to find a good middle ground between the the designs on the DreamWorks show and the toy design. They have found a way to reach the collectors to cash in. Right, on. and that's exactly what they're doing. And I think this probably was the best you're gonna get. Yeah, but from still, that. it's so much better it's than the show. Bad, yeah, it's not. Yeah, she does. If she so looked like better. this on the show. You know, if she looked like this in the show, I don't think there would be nearly as many complaints because she does look a lot more feminine. Um, you know, she looks a lot more sparkly. Uh, I mean, she still looks a little boyish, but it's not too bad. No, it's... I, I, I mean, I can think... believe that being a younger teenage girl as yeah. opposed to, yeah. Uh, no more so and than... Shadow Weaver looks great. Yeah, no more so than, like, the Wonder Woman dolls from the superhero line. Right, I mean, right. I, I think it's fine. I am very excited about this. Um, I'm probably going to crap for it. People are like, well, how can you like these dolls? I, again... Don't like the show. Show, not my friend. These dolls, though, I would buy. I would buy these dolls. I still don't like the show, but they have brushable hair. They got me with the damn brushable hair. So if they, they, if they so didn't they have brushable hair, I would, I, would, I would praise the fact that it looked like a woman, but I'd be like, nope. But they put the thing brushable hair on it. Good. They're definitely like, we're going to get, we're going to get geeky. We're going to get her. Damn it. Brushable hair. Okay, so uh, we're going to end with that. So these are coming to San Diego Comic-Con this summer. Uh, 40 bucks for the pair. Uh, a very feminine-looking She-Ra doll. Well, not one. very. A I more think, feminine. I think she's very feminine. I don't think she's very feminine. She's well, got a very soft face compared to square-jawed, uh, you know, dead-eyed She-Ra. She actually looks like she's got a little sparkle in her eyes. She's, and... she's, she's had some geeky sparkles on her. She has some geeky sparkles on her, yeah. Her boots, I mean, they look better on a doll than they do on the animation, but I still hate the boots. Sorry. Yeah, the boots are dumb. <laughs> but, but, but Shadow Weaver looks incredible. I, just want to br I especially want to brush Shadow Weaver's hair. My fingers are itching. They're going, they're literally going as I'm talking. Okay. Okay. All right, brushy, calm down, brushy, brushy. calm down. Okay, so coming this summer and also the uh, He-Man. Without brushable hair. He does not have brushable hair. There's another picture of her. So we know um, which is better. No, yeah, kidding. So, so anyway, uh, and also He-Man. Oh, yeah, so we'll talk about He-Man. I'm sorry, you want to talk about that. No, 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 I just say Comic Book Adam. Mattel is making these. This is not uh, Super 7. These are actually Mattel-produced toys, probably gearing up for the He-Man movie. Um, they're going to start getting into the swing of things, making He-Man figures again. And So, uh, yeah, yeah, good. You know, I mean, good job with what you had to work with. Yeah. That's... I mean, now give me the, the classics. Thank you. All right, so we're going to wrap this one up. Yes. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, rants, gaming videos, art videos, and more. This has been Neon and Geeky. Bye. Goodbye. Hey guys, thanks for watching Clownfish TV. Please consider supporting the channel. Go to clownfishsupport.com. That's clownfishsupport.com. And if you want to join our community, go to clownfishtalk.com. That's clownfishtalk.com. Please subscribe, ring the bell for notifications. We will talk to you next time.